darlings, today I'm going to be showing you six different iconic hairstyles from Mad Men. Starting with Joan Holloway, she has a side parting and we're going to take two small sections from the front and leave them to the side. We're going to clip the upper half of our hair away and tie away the bottom. Pin the fringe out of the way so we can work on the top. We're going to use our little hair rat and put that at the top of our head. Once that is secure, you can smooth over the top of your hair, give it a good brush out and twist the hair and secure in place with the hair comb. Moving on to the back section, we're going to make this into a twist and pin into the twist. With the little tail section, we're going to turn this into a pin curl and pin in place. Pin up the fringe, hiding your bobby pins and sweep the tail section over into the rest of the hairstyle. And hairspray and voila! Jean's hairstyle, it's going to be the same as Joan's. The front sections are going to be kept to the side and using a side parting as well. And the back of the hair is going to be swooped up into a ponytail, a really high ponytail on top of the head. Smooth your ponytail out and then tie that up and then we're going to move on to the fringe. With the fringe, we're going to smooth this to each side and pin that back, hiding the bobby pins again. Now we're going to transform this I Dream of Genie ponytail into a 60s updo. So we're going to make lots of little pin curls, but we're trying to form them like little barrels. So little tubular curls, we're going to bring them right up to the base of the ponytail and pin in place on either side. And you're just going to keep repeating that with all of your hair and you can pile the curls on top of one another to give it height and that look of like fake hair that they usually did have in the 60s. And now for the final result. For the ever glamorous Betty Draper, you want to dampen all of your hair and keep the top section up, tie that away, we're going to work with that later. For the rest of the hair, we're going to make little pin curls the size of your finger and roll them up and pin them flat against your head. And just keep repeating this all over your hair. The curls should all be facing towards your face, all going directly that way. And then on the top of your head, the curls are going back and they're going to be stand-up curls on the top of your head. And this is what your hair should look like once it's all curled. Now onto the top section. You're going to brush it out, make sure it's all smooth, and we're going to divide it into four sections at the top. You're just going to roll them down like little barrels again, and pin them on either end. And you're going to do this four times. Now remember, the curls should be facing towards the back of your head, that way that when you brush the hair, it's all going to smooth right over the back, exactly how Betty styles her hair. 
You can also use rollers in the top of your hair, that would make it a lot easier, but I don't so I'm using bobby pins. Remember to make sure a pin in both sides to keep that nice and secure. Once that's all done, wrap your head in a little headscarf and leave that on for about 6 to 8 hours while you sleep. Now once you've let your curls to rest for 6 to 8 hours, take out all the curls except the top part, we're going to leave that for later. Once your curls are all out, you can run your fingers through them and then brush that curl out. You're going to be brushing it around your hand and over your thumb to give that curl that under shape that you want, that page boy look. Now this might take some time, so don't get frustrated, just keep brushing and keep brushing until you get the result that you want. And I'm going to speed this up because it takes me a little bit of time to mold my hair. Once your hair is brushed out all lovely, you can then move on to the top curls, undo those and gently brush through them and then brush them to the very back of your head. This is going to give you that Grace Kelly brushed back, free in the breeze kind of feel. Tease at the roots, that's going to give you that volume beneath and brush all those curls at the back out so they smooth back into the rest of your hair. And now for the final reveal. Moving on with Rachel Mankin's hairstyle, we're going to go with roughly the same method and keep the back tied away and use the front section as the fringe. We're going to brush that out really well and going to pull it over to our preferred side. For me it's the right and you're going to brush that completely over and pin that in place for the time being so we can work on the back. And at this point in the hairstyle, it's already a look in itself. With the M's cowl that would be very 60s. Now take the top section and clip that up and with the bottom we're going to do that same twist as we did before and pin that into the twist. Now with the top we're going to take two sections from the side, two small sections and using a hair right again we're going to roll that down with our hair to the back of our head and pin that in place. It might take a few tries to get this roll perfect but once you do I promise it will pay off. So once you've pinned that in place with your little side sections, you're going to roll those up in a little pin curl on either side of your large roll and pin those in securely. To secure the fringe we're going to slide in some bobby pins beneath the fringe and now for the final reveal. stylish Peggy Olsen. I'm going to be taking two small sections from the front and this is going to be a mock fringe since I don't actually have a fringe. Pin that to the side and now I'm curling my hair with a hair straightener since I don't have a curler and you're going to twist that down as you pull the straightener down your hair and that should give you a curl. And you're going to pin those up, they're going to be stand up curls and we're just going to repeat this all over our hair about three levels, three rows that go all the way around your head and then you'll make your way to your fringe which I'll show you next. Your hair should look a little something like this once it's done. And now for a Peggy style fringe, take it out, brush it, and give it a light tease underneath. This is going to help with that little bubble fringe effect that she has in the show. Once you've created that Peggy fringe effect, tuck the leftover piece of hair behind your ear so it's out of the way and do the same thing on the other side. 
Now that your curls have set for a little while, take them out and give them a thorough brush. Now I'm focusing on brushing the head down and brushing the curls out. That's very much an important part of Peggy's look throughout the entire show, compared to Betty who has her hair curled under for her everyday look. Make sure to hairspray really well to hold that curl in place. Now you're going to use that piece of hair you've been collecting for who knows how long and stick it at the back of your head, underneath, pull your hair over and you're going to twist that and secure with a hair comb and fix up your fringe and then we should be ready for the final reveal. For the ever so sweet Trudy Campbell, we're going to curl the front sections using the same method as we did for Peggy's hairstyle. So the back's already curled and we're just doing the front section. We're going to brush the curls out really well and brush them under. Give it a really thorough brush so it gives it that volume that Trudy's hairstyles have a lot in the show. Now the curls at the top of the head are all facing towards your face. So we're going to undo all of those and brush it out very well. And we're going to sculpt this fringe section around your hand and you keep sculpting it and you can even give it a little bit of a tease underneath to give it that bit of volume that Trudy has. Thanks for watching.